Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, The Traveling Seas. Today we're going to take a ferry from the famous Bermuda Naval Dockyard to the historic town of St. George, where we will be visiting the stunning Tobacco Bay Beach, a personal favorite of ours. Norwegian offers a complimentary ferry shuttle for their passengers from the Royal Naval Dockyard to St. George. This ferry is about a 5-10 to 10 minute walk from the ship. Make sure to check the times before as it is a limited schedule. For our trip, there was only one departure time for 9.30am and our return time from St. George back to the Royal Naval Dockyard was 1.30. This 45 minute ferry ride is a great way to see Bermuda's stunning coastline and a convenient way to visit the picturesque St. George. Now that we've made it to St. George, we will be walking from St. George to the beautiful Tobacco Bay Beach. If you're up for it, we highly recommend this walk, which offers a chance to get a closer look at the town and its nearby sites. However, I will warn you, this walk can be a bit strenuous, especially once you head towards Tobacco Bay from the unfinished church. There's quite a bit of uphill walking. However, you can take your time and walk at a leisurely pace as you take in the beautiful views. Be sure to watch the video until the end to watch our entire walk from St. George to Tobacco Bay. We start our walk at the heart of St. George's town. St. George is a UNESCO World Heritage Site rich in history and culture. The town is known for its charming old world architecture. The 17th century unfinished church, a notable landmark in Bermuda, and take some time to admire this unique skeletal structure filled with history. Don't forget to look up the story of the unfinished church. Finally, we arrive at Tobacco Bay after around 30 minutes of walking. This secluded beach is known for its crystal clear waters and vibrant coral reefs, making it a favorite spot for snorkelers, swimmers, and beachgoers alike. As soon as we arrived at Tobacco Bay, we were met with views of vibrant blue and rainbow fish swimming in the crystal clear waters. While Horseshoe Bay Beach is probably the most popular beach in Bermuda, as it is known for its clear blue waters and stunning pink sand, we prefer Tobacco Bay Beach. While it does not have the famous pink Bermuda sand, it does have crystal clear waters and is far less crowded. Tobacco Bay also has a small bar that serves a small offering of food, including basic foods such as chicken fingers and fries, as well as drinks, including the delicious Bermuda Rum Swizzle, which we definitely encourage you to try while you are in Bermuda. During our visit, the rum swizzles were $12 each and every bit delicious and refreshing. When we left Tobacco Bay, we were headed to the nearby Fort St. Catherine. However, making a wrong turn, we ended up finding ourselves at this stunning dead end. Here we enjoyed more breathtaking views of the crystal clear Bermuda water and landscape. This might be one of our favorite things about Bermuda, Getting lost in Bermuda will only lead you to more amazing discoveries. back at the Royal Naval Dockyard, it was time for some shopping. Here we walked to the nearby Clock Tower Mall, a short 10 to 15 minute walk from the ferry and a 5 to 10 minute walk from the cruise ship. Clock Tower Mall is filled with shops that are sure to have something for everyone. We hope you enjoyed our Bermuda trip from St. George to Tobacco Bay. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more travel videos around the world. Thanks for watching!